123. Good afternoon everyone, I'm Jeff Higgins from Higgins Storm Chasing. Today we are here to have a look at one of the biggest storm systems likely to impact the eastern two-thirds of Australia this storm season. It is set out to be a monster. Not only will it deliver heavy rain to New South Wales, Victoria and South Australia, but it'll also fire a mass area of severe thunderstorms. All right, let's move on and have a look at the synoptic chart right now. The low is currently centered down here through southern central parts of, of South Australia. It is forecast to track east across Victoria and New South Wales over the next two days. All right, now this, this low extends a low pressure trough right up through through Northern Territory and Western Queensland here. And that also is expected to move across towards Eastern Districts during the week. However, in this video, we will focus on New South Wales, Victoria and South Australia with a Queensland designated video to follow this one. If we move on now and have a look at the significant rainfall totals, these are from the bottom. Um, you can see over the next four days, probably two days for South Australia, that, that there are areas of 25, 50 and even pockets of 100 mil here. Now there is a flood watch for this area in South Australia as this system really starts to crank up and churn and head across towards the, um, the east. You can see too through Victoria, pretty much the entire state is to receive some good rain with areas up to 50 in the northern half and even pockets of 100 mil there also over the next two to three to four days. All right, this extends into pretty much all of New South Wales as well. Large areas of 50 mil, pockets of 100 here through the central coast, central districts, and even back in here in the southwest. What is good news is that severely drought affected areas of, of these, all these three states are looking at some healthy rainfall. However, we do have the onset of severe thunderstorms and possible supercells. Let's have a look at South Australia today. This is probably live and current now. There is a 45 to 55% chance of supercells there through central and eastern districts. This does spread through to the east. And, and a lower chance of, of 10 to 20 percent chance of supercells down here. I'm going to look at the supercell forecast first and move on to the storms. This is the supercell outlook for Wednesday in New South Wales. You can see also in the western half of New South Wales, there's between 25 and 50 percent chance of supercells. Um, supercells are very severe thunderstorms. They're rotating thunderstorms. They can produce tornadoes. They are likely to produce large hail, damaging winds, possibly destructive, heavy rain. They are nasty. All right, now this will move on again to 5 p.m. on Thursday. And you can see how the instability in this and the supercell risk shifts towards the east. Okay, so between 15 and 35 percent of chance of supercells there, mainly through the northeast and central districts of New South Wales on Thursday. Let's have a look at the instability. These levels, the minus numbers indicate the levels of instability. If you wanted to have a look at minus three, it would be weak to moderate. Minus four, minus five, six are starting to get up into high instability. And anywhere shaded in the negative six, seven, eights, nines, tens and higher uh, is extreme instability. This is where you get all your severe thunderstorms and dangerous thunderstorms from. This is is for South Australia this afternoon, and you can see the greatest areas of instability are through central parts, and this is moving towards the east. Okay, so as the night wears on, these thunderstorms will will push towards the east and southeast. The biggest day we feel is Wednesday, tomorrow for New South Wales. You can see there is a massive amount of very high instability, even extreme instability here through western districts. Couple this, there is a lot of moisture. Okay, normally you, you can get one and not the other for western districts as dry thunderstorms and dust storms, that sort of thing. But this system contains a heavy amount of moisture. 
So we do expect a big outbreak or a big line and a big outbreak of severe thunderstorms to affect western parts of Victoria and western half of New South Wales tomorrow and these will push through towards the east. Areas to the east of these high instability areas could get some, some rain and that sort of stuff. Now remember we'll move on to Queensland in the next video. Pushing on to Thursday, the low would be centred around about Wagga and you can see the rotation in the big low here where it pushes your trough to the north, wraps the instability back around to the south and southwest. So large areas of Victoria again on Thursday under extreme, high to extreme instability, severe thunderstorms likely. This extends through eastern parts and northeastern parts of New South Wales. All right, so it's looking quite dangerous. It's a potent setup. It's one of the biggest ones that I've seen for quite some time and probably one of the bigger ones that we'll get for the entire storm season, given the fact that it affects two thirds of Australia on its journey. All right, so basically what we're saying is to be prepared, keep an eye out for warnings. Um, there are big thunderstorms on the way. There is good rainfall on the way with this system too, so fingers crossed for that as well. If you uh, head over here, you'll find our Higgins Storm Chasing Premium Membership on our website at higginsstormchasing.com. This is where we produce our own forecast maps, highly detailed, and our text forecasts, which are much high, higher detailed than, than what you will receive free on Facebook or, or YouTube. To sign up, it's $24 a year, which is a bargain, and we cover the entire Australian region 365 days a year. So per day, it works out to be very minimal. We now have a new credit card facility available as well, instead of just having PayPal, or alternatively, you can request bank details by our, um, ad, our email there through admin at higginsstormstation.com. So head over there, support the team, back us for what we do with putting out all these forecasts and warnings and updates. It, it's a full-time job now, so the more members we get on board, the um, the better we are or the more improvements we can make to the websites and that sort of stuff and our forecasting. And having one last look now, currently, Late Tuesday afternoon, you can see the position of the low here over South Australia, firing very long, large line of severe thunderstorms through South Australia. It is attached to an associated surface trough, which extends from the Northern Northern Territory down in through Western Queensland. And there's even a coastal trough over here, way ahead of the system producing storms through Northeast New South Wales and Southern Queensland. All this system, is forecast to shift east over the next few days and deliver a lot of rain and a lot of severe thunderstorms. All right, cheers guys and stay safe.